<laughs> All right, well, we are back in our Builder Source kitchen with New Mexico Magazine's managing editor, Candace Gonzalez Walsh. Hi, welcome back, Candace. Thank you. <laughs> it's been forever. I know. And we're so happy to say native, innovator, fashion designer, and artiste of Virgil Ortiz. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you for adorning our bodies with these gorgeous scarves, by the way. Oh, thank you. And Candace, I have to say, the three native innovators that we just talked about that were featured in New Mexico Magazine's August issue really maintain some sacred connections to their indigenous roots. And that's what makes it so special because they're still exploring the new frontiers of creative expression. So what impresses you the most about Virgil? I think that what impresses me the most is that I believe that Virgil just lives, breathes, and sleeps his art. Mm. And it shows in so many different media. Um, he takes the most um, ancient motifs from Cochiti mm -hmm. art, and then he brings them into the present moment and I believe the future. Well, and Virgil, you are from Cochiti Pueblo, and so you also hail from a family of celebrated Pueblo potters. And in fact, he says that art literally is in his blood. So I have to mention that you won your first awards from the Southwestern Association for Indian Arts at just the age of 14. Yes. He started young, guys. <laughs> so what inspired you as a young artist? Well, growing up in Cochiti Pueblo, I really never knew that I was creating art because it was always around us, surrounding mm. us, and um, uh, pottery was always being made. Uh, drum making was always around us, so I really kind of thought that everybody did it. Yeah, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. But you've actually moved into really a new era of merging art and fashion and video and film. I mean, we, I got that from reading the article, just walking in your house, mm -hmm. that the, when they were writing the article, it was like walking into a, just a media <laughs> frenzy of fun. So what is your greatest accomplishment so far? Well, I like to tell stories through all the art that I create, mm -hmm. especially um, those that are centered around the 1680s. Pueblo Revolt. Yeah. Uh, both, um, the I just want to basically educate the world about yeah. the, what happened in the 1680 Pueblo Revolt. Mm -hmm. So there's a little yeah. history teaching at the same time as you're giving people, you know, something to be entertained by. That's, a, that's such a nice marriage of both things. Yeah, and combining all the mediums that I do work in, it allows me to do that. Yeah. So I'm very happy to that's be amazing. able to do that and expose it. Well, and your exquisite clay works are also exhibited worldwide. So you've brought something with us today. Um, what can we What can we say we're looking at here? Uh, these are called Venetian okay. soldiers, the clay figures. Um, <gasps> Everything that I use to make them are, are exactly the same materials that our elders made um, way back in the, in the 1800s. Wow. So they're completely traditional methods and materials, everything about them. Unbelievable. I mean, just the little detail, you know, I mean, yeah. that, that's just, it intrigues me so much because it's something that's so foreign to me. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's so fantastic that you're able to maintain that history in your work, you yeah. know? And I want to mention to our viewers that the Venusian soldiers will actually be showcased at Zane, Bennett, at Zane Bennett Contemporary Art Gallery. That's taking place in Santa Fe next month. And the opening reception actually falls during Indian Market Week. Uh, Market Week. So what are some of the details about that? Uh, the opening show will, uh, happens on Thursday, August 16th from okay. 5 to 7 p.m. Nice. And if you're not if anybody's not able to make it there, um, the exhibition goes on through September 20th. Okay. And I would also like to mention, like if you're there on the opening night, there's complimentary uh, posters of the Venusian soldiers. Oh, nice. Hand it out. Yes. And, yeah, and your family <laughs> will actually also have a booth, correct? Yes, okay. we're always on the booth. I share it with my, my dad, Guadalupe Ortiz, also mm -hmm. with my sister, Joyce Ortiz, and my two nephews, Kyle and... Uh, and Dominic Ortiz. So it's a family affair at Indian Market and we, we can't let you go yet because we've got something really special. After a highly successful collaboration with fashion mogul Donna Karen, by the way, you have launched your own edgy fashion line and we're wearing the scarves but tell us a little bit more about the line itself. Okay, there are two lines that I do have. One okay. of them is the Virgil Ortiz Ready to Wear collection which is, uh, which is t-shirts and mm -hmm. scarves that um, that have the like what you're wearing also mm. if you can I don't know if you can show it really yes, quick let's do that but it has imagery like with bold colors and also incorporating wow is that gorgeous or what uh, native uh, native designs also and it's just very basically a uh, commentary and telling of the whole stories of our Pueblo culture and our history. Oh, uh, unbelievable, right? And, and so, yeah. so spectacular and very soft, by the way. <laughs> and your t-shirt line, a lot of people like our t-shirts, that actually launches this fall and we get a little preview today of that line. So yes. can we bring out our first model and take a look? Let's see. Sure. This oh, is Nikki wow. Lowe. She's wearing the t-shirt collection and that's the, called the Translator Unleashed. Shirt. Beautiful. Oh. And also she has the handbag and that's the signature handbag <gasps> with all the designs of the 
the wild spinach, the water, and the moon design on it. And I love those jeans, by the way, as well. Yeah, the jeans are, um, everybody sends me in their favorite pairs of jeans, mm -hmm. and I hand uh, paint them or applique them. Oh, wow. To everybody's favorite jeans, so. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so the jeans themselves, are you actually hand paint those? Yeah, some of them are hand painted, like what, do you, what Jeremy's wearing. Wow. And what Nikki was wearing are um, leather applique. And Jeremy, I love the sleeves. Oh, those are oh. rad. And I love the 1680 incorporation right on the back of his shirt. See that? You'll never forget. Yeah. <laughs> Never forget that date. And that is incredible. And it looks really comfortable, too. Extremely comfortable. God, the colors are fantastic. Yeah, it's oh, orange. love it. Let's bring out our next model as well. I, I can't get enough of this. I'm, I'm, ready, I'm ready to buy my new line. Oh. This is Mona Berry. Oh. She's wearing one of the couture pieces. And that's actually made from the silks. Um, what you're holding here, <gasps> and I turned it into coter pieces. So all of these are available, Virgil. one of a kind, and they're made to order. Will you turn around again, just so we can look at that back? Because mm. that is, wow. And the jewelry is Virgil. Yeah, too. the jewelry, I designed the jewelry, and I collaborated with uh, Kenneth Johnson, oh, um, wow. a Muscogee Seminole native, and he helps me do the, the jewelry. Gorgeous. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not often speechless, but I kind of am. <laughs> I mean, just well, from the accessories to the to the wardrobe and the jewelry, just beautiful. Thank you so much. And, and you know, I want to also remind our viewers before we go, um, Candace, how can everybody get a new edition of New Mexico Magazine? You can go to NewMexicoMagazine.com. Mm -hmm. There is a wonderful code just for New Mexico style watchers. Mm -hmm. um, for a few get a subscription in the next nice. 24 hours you get a rate of $14 oh so, and and the, and the code is i style i style as in i me myself and i I style. I style. I like, it. I like it. Well, Virgil, this is so spectacular, and I have to say, it's been really a pleasure. Thank you. We're really honored to be our able last to wear model. your clothes. And yeah, I want before we go, I want to bring out our very last model oh, to see the big special <laughs> final, the final, the final look. This I is mean, Leon this Garcia. Guy. Yeah, wow. we're in the Translator Unleashed T-shirt, also with the leather applique jeans. Unbelievable. <laughs> and and wait, go to. Let's look from the side because I have to look. I, I'm telling you, I'm a little obsessed with the jeans. Clearly, but look at that. Look at that look. It's just gorgeous. And you look and you look so authentic and so edgy and so cool, <laughs> but also there's such a tie-in to the history and the culture, which yeah, I love. Everything that we do always has a meaning behind it and it always relates back to Coche de Pueblo mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. explaining what our culture is about. So every little design you see does have a story behind it. Gorgeous. Thank you so much. You all look so fantastic. I appreciate you all being here. And again, I thank you so much thank for you. for gracing us with the work that you do and uh, we hope to see a lot more of it. How can, we, how can we get some of these designs and some of these clothes? You can go to our website, which is virgilortiz.com. Okay. Or either just leave us a message uh, at info at virgilortiz.com. Perfect. Thank you so much, Candace, Virgil, and models. Appreciate it so much. And when we come back, we'll have a little more for you. Don't go away. Well, we appreciate all of you joining us this morning on New Mexico Style. We want to thank all of today's guests. Candace, before we go, remind us when Indian Market is taking place. It's in August. In August. Okay. So we still have a couple weeks. We still have a couple weeks. And you'll want to pick up that new edition of New Mexico Magazine. We've got that. It's coming out on stands? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And you don't want to miss it. And all of the models. And Virgil, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much yeah. for us. And of course, their hair and makeup artist. Dina DeVore. Thank you so much. We can't, we can't look good without that. <laughs> have a great day, everybody. For more information on today and all our shows, go to our website at casa.com. Have a great Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. Woo! <laughs>